By the end of the year, Mayor Vincent Gray and the D.C. public school system will announce which schools in the city are going to be closed. To fight the closings, the grassroots empowerment group Empower D.C. hosted an education outreach day in Ward 7. This is all in an effort to raise awareness, talk to folks on the street, bring the information to the street in hopes when there are opportunities for folks to raise their, their voice, uh, that they, you know, have some of these ideas already kind of planted in their, in their, in their thinking. D.C. Schools Chancellor Kaya Henderson says the city can't afford to keep all of its schools open, but activists say the plan will destroy public education in D.C. People along Minnesota Avenue and Benning Road in Northeast had additional concerns. Why the D.C. residents, you, these young people, when they graduate from high school, they're not, they not uh, prepared to go and work for Homeland Security? I'm totally against public schools. Okay. It's, I think they all It's totally okay. I know. Please take down these public schools. Please. And charter. According to the Washington Post, Henderson hopes residents will be more receptive to the closures after hearing her initiatives. Annette Bridges says the city should have gotten more input from the people most affected. Have they asked parents? Have they asked communities? What do you think is going to help improve schools? So, so there was little involvement in all this. It was kind of like arbitrary, arbitrary decisions. Education activists have demanded that the D.C. Council hold public hearings on any proposed school closures. And Chairman Phil Middleson has recently agreed to that request. I'm Nick Westbrooks for News Vision.